The Arla Burke class destroyers, a mainstay of the U.S. Navy for more than three decades, are now at a crossroads, with the arrival of new, more sophisticated ships such as the Zumwalt class. There are still many questions regarding the future of the Zumwalt class destroyers. Despite his advanced age, Arla Burks remains an important part of the U.S. Navy fleet, and retirement is not on the agenda anytime soon. Arla Burke designs have a proven track record. Launched in the 1980s, the destroyer has been involved in a variety of conflicts from the Persian Gulf War to the ongoing War on Terror. Its flexibility and reliability have played an important role in a variety of operations, including anti-air warfare, anti-submarine warfare and surface warfare. This battle-tested platform provides a level of confidence that a new and tested design might not have. Arla Burks are not a relic of the past, they have been on a continuous modernization program throughout their lives. These improvements ensure that the technology remains relevant in the face of ever-evolving threats. From advanced radar systems to enhanced missile defense capabilities, Burks keeps abreast of technological advances. This adaptability allows them to be integrated into modern combat groups along with new ships. The Arla Burke program represents a significant investment for the U.S. Navy. Retiring them prematurely means losing the remaining years of service they have to offer. Upgrading existing ships is often a more cost-effective option than building a new class from scratch. This economic factor plays a crucial role in an era of tightening defense budgets. The U.S. Navy maintains a global presence, and the Arla Burks form the backbone of this vast fleet. Their number provides significant advantages. There are more than 60 active Arla Burke destroyers, and many more are under construction. This large fleet allows for a broader distribution of naval power throughout the world, ensuring the U.S. Navy's superior capabilities can effectively respond to threats wherever they arise. The Navy has invested significant resources in the training of Arla Burke class crew members. These crews have a wealth of experience and expertise in operating and maintaining these complex warship. S. Replacing them with completely new crews for a completely different class of destroyer would require a major new training effort. This transition period could create gaps in the capabilities of the Indonesian Navy. The nature of naval warfare continued to evolve. New threats, such as unmanned vehicles and hypersonic missiles, are emerging. While newer ship designs may be better equipped to handle some future threats, the Arla Burks still have a role to play. Adaptability and ongoing modernization programs can ensure they remain relevant in the face of an uncertain future. The future of Arla Burke's class likely lies in integration and specialization, as new and more advanced ships such as the Zumwalt enter service. Burke's can be strategically integrated into carrier strike groups or surface action groups, leveraging their comprehensive capabilities to complement the new ship's forces. Additionally, certain Arla Burks may be intended for specialized roles, such as anti-submarine warfare or ballistic missile defense. The Arla Burke class destroyers remain an important asset to the U.S. Navy. Its proven design, adaptability and cost effectiveness make it a powerful tool in maintaining global maritime dominance. While these new ships offer exciting advancements, the Burks will likely continue to serve for decades to come. Ensuring the U.S. Navy has a strong and flexible fleet capable of meeting the challenges of the 21st century. Comparison between the capabilities of the Arla Burke and new destroyer classes such as the Zumwalt. Potential challenges in integrating Arla Burks with next-generation technologies and unmanned systems. The future of shipbuilding and its potential impact on the Arla Burke program.